Welcome back. It was 21 years ago this summer when the single greatest movie of all time, in my opinion, graced theaters. For tonight's highlights, we play tribute to the cinematic classic Independence Day. First up, full house tonight for the Valley Cats game. In Independence Day, President Whitmore says, I'm a pilot. I belong in the sky. Well, tonight's starting pitcher Tyler Ivey belongs on the bench. He gives up four runs in the second, including this one. His replacement, Christian Javier, comes in and is lights out, striking out seven in relief duty. Scary moment here, though. Abraham Toro up the bat. He's hit in the head by this pitch. Ouch, he is shaken up, has to leave the game. He'll be okay. Everything ends up all right in the end because the Cats win 9-5. to five. How about in the bigs? Yankees playing an afternoon game today at home against the Blue Jays. Top of the third, man on second for Toronto. Jose Batista slaps in this single to right. It's 1-0 Blue Jays. Bottom of the fourth now. Yanks are losing 4-0, but all of a sudden Aaron Judge says, didn't I promise you fireworks like Will Smith? He hits this ball harder than Will Smith did when he knocked out that alien. In the end, though, it's the only run the Yanks score and Toronto wins 4-1. The Mets also playing an afternoon game, and if this scene right here doesn't get you hyped up, I don't know what will. Awesome start here. That's Vice Admiral Luke McCullen throwing out the first pitch. Much respect to all of those serving our country. Okay, game time now. Right off the top, Jose Reyes says, God bless the USA with this solo home run. But bottom of the third, Bryce Harper singing, America the beautiful. Okay, I'll stop. But he singles into the outfield. Nats take the lead. They end up running away away with it 11 to 4. And what about the Red Sox tonight? Well, last night they had an early lead and they nearly blew it, but so far very comfortable lead here on the Rangers. Can they hang on? They're up 9 zip, so hopefully. Now, who doesn't love that scene when Will Smith's character gets to fly that alien spaceship into space and be the hero? I've got to get me one of these, he says. That's the same thing the Boston Celtics said when they watched Gordon Hayward play. And today, the all-star forward announces he's heading to Beantown. Hayward is fresh off of leading the Utah Jazz to the playoffs last season. The Miami Heat did make a strong push to sign him. But in the end, it looks like he will reunite with Boston head coach Brad Stevens. Stevens coached Hayward at Butler. Look, I get it. He's not exactly LeBron James or Kevin Durant, but he is the kind of player that can get a team over the hump. That could have been at a barbecue. <laughs> Poor Will Smith. He missed out on all the July 4th fun because he had to go save the world. Well, that wasn't an issue for this next guy. I'm talking about Joey Chestnut, who defends his title at the Nathan's Famous Hot Dog Eating Contest. Incredibly, he manages to scarf down 72 hot dogs. That's right, 72. How many? Including the bun, 72. That's a new record. And as if it wasn't impressive enough, Chestnut has now won this contest 10 straight times. I mean, uh, congrats, I guess. But unlike Will Smith and Independence Day, I would not ask him what that smell is because some questions just better left unanswered. You know, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> How do they do that? I've never understood that. Yeah, I don't even want to know. I'm uh, you know, right. like, just like a vacuum. Right. And you do oh, love man. that movie, don't you? I gotta say, uh, it's a cinematic masterpiece. It's up there with Citizens Kane mm. and uh, <laughs> Godfather, right up there. <laughs> and you've seen it 37 times. This or, week. Or more. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Meantime, we'd like to have more of today 37 times because it was absolutely perfect.